Every, this month we are talking about Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I told, thank you, Ethan. And I let's clap for Ethan. And I told them to send me. Uh, some of them sent me what they made, you know, uh, uh, how he applies to their lives. So, and I love the one Ethan sent me, and I had Pastor for permission if Ethan can present to us. Everything you hear is Ethan that did all by himself with mm -hmm. the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, Ethan, share with us, because some of us don't even know what the Ten Commandments is. We don't know where it is in the scripture. I think it's in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Mm -hmm. So, I helped you with that. So, you can continue. Let's clap for Ethan. The Ten Commandments. My name is Ethan Pogson and I will be your guide today. Today we will be learning about the Ten Commandments, what they mean to me, and how to m make restitution only break them. Commandment one, you must not worship any other gods except me. I think this means that we shouldn't worship any fake gods or idols. A way that I can restitute is by asking God to forgive me. Um, a way that you can restitute is asking God for to forgive you. Also ask God to help you destroy your idols. Commandment two, you must not make any idols. Don't make st any statues or pictures of anything up in the sky or of anything down in the, on the earth or anything down in the water. I think this means that we shouldn't create idols. If I ever, if you ever find yourself breaking this commandment, you should ask God to forgive you you again destroy the idol and not making this mistake again commandment three you shall not say the lord's name in vain i think this means that anytime we get angry we shouldn't say oh my well you know what i'm gonna say a way that I, if i ever find myself breaking this commandment i should ask god to forgive me and not using his name in vain anymore. Commandment four, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. I think this means that every Saturday slash Sunday, we should go to church so we can learn about God. You can, if I ever find myself breaking this commandment, I should ask God for forgiveness and go to church on the day that I'm supposed to. Commandment five, honor thy father and thy mother. I think this means that we should honor our parents and guardians to please God. A way, if, I, if you ever find yourself breaking this commandment, you should ask God for forgiveness and apologize to the parents. Afterwards, we, shouldn't, we should try not to break this commandment again. Commandment six, you shall not murder. I think this means that you shouldn't kill. Sounds easy, right? Well, you can kill in a lot of ways. The most common is hatred. I mean, how can you hate your brother when you have met, but love God who you have not met? Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't love God, but you should love everyone, including your enemies. A way, if I ever find myself breaking this commandment, I should apologize to the person I emotionally murdered. And if I physically murdered, go to the police station and pay your price. <laughs> Commandment seven, you shall not commit adultery. I think this means that you shouldn't cheat on your spouse. Committing, committing adultery also breaks commandment nine. If you ever find yourself breaking this commandment, I should apologize to, to my original spouse and break up with the other person. <laughs> commandment, wait, I'm not done yet. Commandment eight, you shall not steal. I think this means that you shouldn't take something that's not yours. That means anything. Stealing devices, stealing toys, and the most recent is stealing food from when I actually went to school. You can't, if I ever find myself breaking this commandment, I should give back what I stole and apologize to the person I stole from. Commandment one. I think this means uh, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. I think this means no lying. But how this connects this commandment seven is because adultery is lying to your spouse. 
a way that if I ever find myself breaking this commandment, I should apologize to the person I lied to and not lying again. Commandment 10, you shall not covet your neighbor. This means that you shouldn't be jealous of anyone. But guess what? Every single sin starts with I want. One example is disobeying your guardian. It starts with wanting to do something or wanting to do something which your parents don't want you to do. So you disobey them by doing the specific thing they told you not to do. Another example is lying. You, in your head, you say that you want something that your friend has so you can look good or popular and be popular. So you lie and tell them that you're something that you aren't or say you have something that you don't. That's hurting yourself because what if they ask you to do something that you can't do or bring what you lied about having? If you're unable to, if you're unable to do that, they'll know you will lie and your reputation will go lower. But this isn't about the reputation. But anyways, don't, the lesson here is don't be jealous of anyone because covetousness is sin's birthplace. If I find myself breaking this commandment, I should be content with what I have.